The advances made in cancer research in just the past decade have, according to top oncologists, been nothing short of astonishing. The National Cancer Institute has designated the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey the state's only comprehensive cancer center. I recently asked its newly appointed director, Dr. Stephen Labuti, what that designation means. It's incredibly empowering. And so, uh, as you probably know, there are only 47 uh, NCI-designated comprehensive cancer institutes in the United States. Right. And uh, we're the only one in the state of New Jersey. And so that's a tremendous responsibility for us. The Rutgers Cancer Institute has partnerships with other major hospitals. Why are those clinical partnerships important? Well, they're, they're critically important uh, because it's our ability to translate findings from our laboratories into next generation therapies that we can then bring to patients. And without a very strong uh, hospital or health system partner, it's very difficult to get those needed therapies to the most number of patients. You have research and clinical in the same outfit. That's correct. At Rutgers. What's the benefit of that? Clinical trials? Yeah, well, not only clinical trials, but uh, I believe that our clinical activities, the clinical care that we deliver with patients as our focus, really inspires and enables our basic scientists to understand what are the relevant problems they should be addressing, what questions should they really be asking. And having the science right there really you know, invigorates our clinical practitioners to know that they're really at the cutting edge of what can be delivered to our patients. Cancer research is exploding right now based on what was learned during the Human Genome Project. What's the most exciting thing for you that's going on right now? So I think that it's really two things. I think one is, you're absolutely right, that what we've learned about cancer as a, as a group of diseases from understanding the biology of cancer at the sequence level has really let us uh, develop new, targeted, more precise therapies to try to mitigate the sort of toxicities that patients used to have and maximize the benefits uh, that we can bring. But what's real exciting to me right now is our ability to harness the patient's own immune system to fight cancer and to direct that immune system to the cancer as a target. And I think that's where we're going to make a lot of progress moving forward. Because cancer is a constellation of diseases, but also different from patient to patient, right? That's correct. That's correct. Are we going to cure cancer in our lifetimes? So, I, you know, people make very broad predictions and broad promises. Uh, and I don't have a crystal ball, so I, I, I can't answer that accurately. But what I can tell you is that in the 20 plus years that I've been involved in cancer research and cancer care, I've gotten to see amazing progress uh, being made. Cancer uh, deaths due to cancer and incidence of cancer has dropped in the United States uh, pretty consistently over the last eight to 10 years. And I think we're gonna continue to make progress in that regard. My hope is that we make cancer a disease folks can live with uh, for their uh, lifespan, just like we've done with diabetes and some cardiovascular diseases. And ultimately, we're still all fighting uh, to find that cure uh, for cancer, and we'll keep striving at, uh, at the Rutgers Cancer Institute to do that. You come to Rutgers from Montefiore, which has a spectacular reputation. What have you learned there that you're going to transport here? Well, Montefiore, as you said, is an amazing place, and I had a wonderful eight years there, and it's an incredible health system that's really focused on its community and focused on the patients that it serves. And we're going to do that as it's been done at Rutgers, but even more so, a, a reinvestment, uh, a doubling down of our efforts in really making our patients and the patients of New Jersey the focal point of all we do, both in research and in clinical care delivery. Dr. Labuti, thanks for being here. And thank you for having me.